Okay, so Ghostbusters is really popular. Like, that's probably why you clicked on this video, because you like Ghostbusters. You see, I have a Ghostbusters light over there. This, um, I have to hold some Ghostbusters stuff. Oh, man. See, I got some stuff here. I got a Blue Wave Ghostbusters 1 Plus 2 Afterlife. I got this one of the original Ghostbusters. Look at that disc. Bunch of Ghostbusters logos on it. I got the real Ghostbusters. The cartoon series. I've, I even got it on the PSP. UMD. UMD video, yeah. Yep. What I'm going to be doing today is ranking the Ghostbusters movies. I'll be ranking Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and Afterlife and, and the recently released Frozen Empire. No, I won't include the 2016 one. Just, you know, I haven't watched in a while and stuff like that. Doing the 1984 canon ones. So don't flood me in the comments saying that I forgot the 2016 one because I am not ranking it. Okay. When you have a ghost in the town, who do you call? Ghostbusters. Yeah. Okay, first up, we're going to start off with number four, which is... No, I don't know, but I don't know. Ghostbusters Afterlife seems to, like, have kind of like a slower pace compared to the rest of them. For some reason, I feel like, to me, like, it ain't bad. Like, none of these movies on this list are actually bad, but, you know, it's got to, like, it de it's trying to develop the characters more and more, and then the main action doesn't happen until, like, well, like, an hour in. The Ghostbusters in action. I like all the traps at the end and stuff, and how the original Ghostbusters turn up at the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Even though Ghostbusters Afterlife ain't bad, I kind of wish it was just a little bit better, you know what I'm saying? You know that? But now, let's get on to number... Three, which is... So, um, number three and, num and the next one on this list, I was kind of balancing on which one I should do, but I think Frozen Empire deserves the spot for some reason. So, now, now, after, now um, Frozen Empire is, is really good. I liked how it had a new villain it showed the firehouse back when it was an actual firehouse and uh stuff like that you know that like a lot of action in this movie and like that guy is like that fire person thing used to defeat the main villain yeah it's pretty yeah a little crazy yeah. yeah, Frozen Empire is actually really good, especially since it's the 40 years of Ghostbusters. <laughs> but now we're getting on to number two, which is... <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 is actually pretty good. I think I like it at the number two spot. You know... It's like, 
it's kind of like the original, but kind of not at the same time. A lot of funny moments in that one. One of my favorite parts is, is um, when the mayor says, well, what am I supposed to do? Go on TV and tell, like, 12 million people to be nice to each other. <laughs> on, on that part. And the scene where the Titanic arrives. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. There's a lot of action in that one, too, also. But now we're getting on to number one, which I can ex which I bet you can expect what it is. <laughs> yep, no questions asked. It's like a perfect movie, pretty much. A lot of, lot of action, lots of humor. It's just great all around. Ghostbusters 1 is a 10 out of 10 movie. No questions asked. Don't argue with me in the comments. Ghostbusters 1 from 1984 is the best Ghostbusters movie. So yeah, that was my ranking of every Ghostbusters movie. Oh yeah, I also have some other stuff too. We got some Ghostbusters video games. I got the Atari 2600 game and Ghostbusters the video game and Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. I also have volume 1 through 5 of the real Ghostbusters and finally record soundtracks of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty big on Ghostbusters. So I want to add this in real quick. Um, these are some other Ghostbusters stuff. This is a release of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Oh, the, these s very s thin green covers. They come in this box. Yeah, they come in that box. Plus a uh, scrapbook, it says. Like this, the Ghostbusters 2 one even has special features of two real Ghostbusters episodes as well. And this scrapbook, throughout the book, it has like these um, original storyboards in them. Look at these original Ghostbusters logo artworks. So, what is that one with the hand, and what's that one with the net? Well, they caught the ghost with the net. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. Uh, what about the artwork from the discs? Oh, uh, yeah, the artwork on the discs, they're literally hand-drawn. That's really cool. Yeah. And I like how the ghost in the Ghostbusters 2 discs is, like, is all, like, is misplaced. Yeah. Yeah. It is, ain't it? Yeah. I never noticed that before. Yeah, because that hand's supposed to be on here, yeah. and then the top of his head's supposed to be outside the circle. Huh. It's like you drew it in your notebook at school. Yeah. Except it's the actual artist who made it, and not just some average kid. <coughs> I just wanted to add that in real quick to the video. Also, Steve Puff... Advertisement! Yay! So anyway, I think that's the end of the video.